All right, so uh, I'm gonna post a couple of different views. I've got uh, some footage that I have my camera or my phone out the window most of the way down. And then I've also got a uh, dash cam view. Um, none of it's scary, it's just kind of cool. Uh, different views. Probably uh, the, the view outside the window is probably gonna be the best, but I'm gonna post both just because it's a really neat trail. And then I've got some commentary about uh, what I experienced. Uh, towards the end. Sorry about the Jeep running. I got the AC on starting to get a little toasty here But uh, so that's what you can expect in this video and also I don't film the trail into the valley I only uh, film uh, what was up above the hairpin turns and things like that. So uh, this is not a complete uh, Schaefer trail video
super cool.
that was the worst of it. So I figured I'd stop and uh, just video a little bit before I make it all the way down to the bottom. And down there is the valley where the road goes. So that's going to be kind of cool to look up and see all this. But let me start with this. If you want a scenic drive, take this drive. You don't need four wheel drive. If, if you're in the conditions like I'm in right now and it's dry, with what the National Park Service has done to this road. Those hairpin turns, super wide. You could probably pass people coming the other way um, at about, I'd say 70 to 80% of this trail. And unless it's super muddy, that might make it a little gnarly and you might need four, four by four going uphill or something like that. But I could have driven a box truck <laughs> through this um, from what I just experienced. So Colorado was way, way worse. That video that I posted on Corkscrew Pass, that was a crazy road. That had me extremely nervous. That was white knuckle. This is not. Um, so if you're in the area and, and people are telling you not to do it, do it. If you're in a Subaru or a low clearance vehicle, there is no high clearance anything. It was harder to get in and out of my campsite today <laughs> and last night than it was to come down this road. So don't let the articles scare you. Take this road. So I don't know if it gets worse maybe at the bottom in the valley. I, I really don't know. Um, and in rainy conditions, everything changes. But if it's dry, um, it's, it's a super easy drive. You just pay attention keep your eyes on the road i did film this with one hand um out the window with the camera because it was that easy and i wasn't paying attention to the camera i haven't even looked at the footage and i'm hoping for the best so if it doesn't work out i might just drive back up um i think I've, if, if it does work out then i'm just going to keep going i'm not going to drive in the opposite direction but um this was a very cool drive don't let anybody talk you out of it unless it's muddy um, take it do it it is awesome thanks for the recommendation on this it is definitely one of the prettiest uh, drives that i've been on on this trip that's that's for certain and you just don't get that kind of views and and cliff um <laughs> cliff uh faces that you drive along like this in uh, many other areas so very cool glad i'm did glad i did it and uh, i'm gonna head down into the valley and maybe get a few pictures um heading up because uh even though it's a little foggy for me, probably the sand because it was windy. In this direction, it is just clear blue skies and it's awesome. So, very cool. Give it a shot. Definitely do it.